Hey Cancer and welcome to your tarot love reading for the one who loves you or the one that you love here. We are going to take a look at the messages that the cards reveal to you here Cancer. As always these messages are general so please just keep that in the back of your mind. If you are interested in a personal tarot reading with me please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email address just below the video here where the show more section is along with all the information that you will need. So the messages, the messages, all the messages are intended here for Cancer Ascendant. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and um, even to, the, to those of you that may be cross-watching as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's coming in for you. You've got the Knight of Cups here in reverse. The Ten of Cups in reverse, the Knight of Cups also in reverse. Okay. All right. What's going on here, Cancer? A lack of action, a lack of movement, a lot of stagnation here. You want a fairy tale romance. You want your happily ever after. But what are you doing to achieve that? Because I feel like there is potential on the cards for you, but for some reason, you're scared to move towards it here, Cancer. Or perhaps your romantic interest here is scared to come towards, you know, um, that happily ever after here the knight of cups in re uh, in reverse here this is your energy though okay strong emotional message with the knight of cups um you know you love to love and you love to be loved but for some, but something here is holding back or you're holding yourself back from love here what is it the knight of cups is someone who is in touch with their intuition and their emotions but i feel like you're slowly you're currently out of tune with your emotions. You're currently out of tune with your um, intuition here. There's something going on here. Um, could be you're not being realistic about a situation. You know, you are moody as well by nature. Um, maybe your emotions are running rampant all over the place. Um, you're refusing to open up. You've got strong feelings for someone, strong romantic feelings for someone, or someone here has strong romantic feelings for you, but they're refusing to open up, they're refusing to acknowledge those feelings. Um, you're not ready. That's what it is, right? The time, you're not ready. The timing is inappropriate. You're not ready to say the words. You're not ready to come towards this person. You have strong feelings for this individual or this individual has strong feelings for you. But to me, it seems like their attention is focused elsewhere. Could be something to do with career. This person may be applying themselves, maybe building their career, you know, chasing career ambitions and goals here. Um, it could be something else that has this person's attention or has this person's focus. It could be internal issues as well, okay? Maybe this person is just not in a good place emotionally. We did talk about, you know, you being possibly out of tune or, you know, um, out of sync with your intuition and your emotions here. But let me tell you, if you had all these cards, you know, upright, just how wonderful things would be when and if this finally does come to fruition. Because this person that you're want this person that you're you know you're not moving towards this person that's coming in around you they're also not it's like they're not reciprocating here not because that they're not interested but i feel like it's more to do with the fact that mm, they're not sure how you feel about them okay because you're not making the move it's like this person wants you to reach out. They want you to text them. They want you to communicate. They want you to ask them out. They want you to make the move because they're not sure where you're at. Okay, you seem to be retracted. You seem to be a little bit closed off. Right now, you're giving off a little bit of a moody vibe. So it's like this person could be strong water energy that you're dealing with as well, he can. So it's like this person is vibing off your energy. And right now, you're in, I don't think you're in a good place emotionally. Something's going on with you here. Okay, you've got the chariot also in reverse and then the two of pentacles and the king of swords. You're in two minds or this person is in two minds about the situation, um, about their feelings here. It's like you want your happily ever after, but as soon as that, as soon as you come close to it or as soon as that appears on the horizon, you pull away. Some people fear success just as much as they feel fear failure. Is that the case here? The chariot as well, to me, it feels like you're being pulled into different directions, okay? Um, you are water energy. Um, 
you know, water energies are very emotional, very intuitive be beings. They are very sensitive. They can be very fragile as well. And to me, it seems like the reason why you're not moving is because you don't know. I mean, you don't know where it is that you want to go. You don't know where it is that, you know, you want to take this to. I also feel like it doesn't help because your romantic interest here could very well be, you know, taking on similar energy. And they too, it's like they're interested in you, but they too aren't necessarily making a move. Um, or they're being very subtle here. And maybe you don't do subtle here, Cancer. So to me, I feel like your emotions here are going in um, various directions or you don't have... You're lacking direction right now. It's like you, you're not ready to move forward with something. Again, something to do with the timing. Maybe it's not appropriate. Maybe the timing's not right for you. Maybe you've got a lot going on right now. Some of you could be, you know, or it could be a special interest, your romantic interest, guys. Take the messages general here. So do take it as a plus to you personally. Um, it just could be I'm seeing someone here doing a lot. Okay, they're, they're, they're balancing and managing a lot. It's like someone here is bouncing between two different income streams. They could also be um, putting in extra hours at work or they just could have a lot going on like career, personal, creative endeavors of some sort. They just could be, I feel like they're doing a lot. They have a lot on their plate and maybe they don't have time for a relationship. Um, or maybe it's you and maybe you know that, you know, you can't give this person your full attention. Um, I do feel like you intend to reach out when you're ready, but it feels like it's going to be on your time. Am I right? or if it's this individual, they will reach out to you, but it feels like it's going to be on their time. The King of Swords is someone who emits a cold energy. Just because someone isn't making a move, the other person is receiving the message that they're not interested, or you know, there's an air of coldness that's around this person, or they're giving off a cold vibe, or then like they're disinterested. That's not necessarily the case. So be mindful of how you're coming across. Um, if you're if you don't necessarily want to progress a connection here, maybe it's important for you to turn around and just be open with your individual. You know, with the King of Swords, he does encourage open and honest communication, even if it may seem blunt, even if it may seem direct. Believe me, a lot of people do appreciate um, honesty, and honesty is the best policy, you know, moving forward here. So it's better that you let this person know. Otherwise, I feel like the person that you're dealing with could very well sort of... Um, lose interest in you and in the connection altogether and move on and there therefore this might be a missed chance and missed opportunity so look if the timing's not right for you or if you're not ready or if you're not sure how you feel or if you if you're on the receiving end of this you know maybe you need to reach out and you need to be very just be very direct with this individual because the billowing clouds in the background is like you're a little bit confused you have you lack mental clarity because because i feel like you're getting some, you know, you're getting two different vibes from this person, like hot and cold. Wow, you do have the lover's card, the strength and the four of swords. So the one who loves you may very well indeed love you here um, or could be on the way to falling in love with you. But I feel like it's, this person has a hard time admitting their emotions or this person is not very emotionally expressive or they are very gent they are very like very a very gentle nature very sensitive um they could be of shy demeanor um maybe they're just not very good with their words i also feel like maybe this person is in the process of falling in love with you or they see themselves falling in love with you a very strong romantic um, energy here emitted by the lover's card strength here i mean notice the infinity symbol with the two of pentacles and the strength card i feel like this is your forever person okay and just because things aren't so good now doesn't mean that they won't be great in the future as i've mentioned earlier on in the spread i do feel like if the two of you have you know if you decide to take action or if this person finally decides to take action and bring things to fruition you will have a, a lasting and wonderful connection i get it with the four of swords you're not ready to act or this person isn't ready to act now but i feel like it's important to at least know where you stand with regards to this connection um you know do you wait or do you move on i feel like you at least deserve to know or you know your your person here deserves to know because i feel like someone here is driven to exhaustion or someone here is just not ready to love or just not ready to invest in um, the connection or invest in the relationship just just yet okay i didn't say that they're not ready at all i just feel like this person isn't ready just yet um 
So you know what? Time and distance now is going to work wonders for this relationship, this connection. You'll see. Do you in the meantime, okay? If this person isn't giving you the time and the intention that you deserve, I did say with the King of Swords, it's important to... Um, I feel like you need answers, okay? If you don't have the answers, I feel like you should seek them, you should draw them out, and vice versa. But at the same time, you know, I feel like it's also important for you to focus on yourself. This person will reach out, they'll come around when they're good and ready. But until then, don't sit, don't sit around, don't twiddle your thumbs waiting for anyone. Do you focus on you? Because um, it'll happen in its own time sort of thing. And when it does, get ready to get ready. Get ready to be ready here, Cancer. There you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, commenting, um, sharing. I will be sharing with you more general tarot love readings throughout the week, so do stay tuned. Thank you guys again for your time, your attention, your support. It is greatly appreciated. Bye for now.